Hey everybody, I am Philip Bloom of The Blooms, and I don't know how many of you have been in the industry for 15 years or more, but as wedding, portrait, fashion photographers, um, Eileen and I have seen things go from, we had cameras that were bricks like this, our lighting was, uh, you know, maybe an alien bee or something this large, if you wanted to light something off camera. Even our computers, here's one of our old laptops, a laptop was that thick. You could fit three laptops on top of each other now, I think. Um, so as I share our current minimalist kit that we travel all over the world with in a carry-on, um, I just hope that you appreciate all of the cool options that are actually much more affordable and accessible now than they used to be. Um, so here's the kit. You can kind of see an overview of what I have in here. I'm gonna show you the main core of that kit as well as the fun little accessories that we use. Um, and all of it fits here in my Peak Design uh, travel bag. So I'll fit everything in this, uh, keep it with me when we travel. So now we have an A7 III. This is an affordable, great wedding photographer's camera as our body. Um, and then an A7R III, A7R IV, I think a lot of people are getting now. Um, but either way, that's a higher resolution uh, body that I can take advantage of Sony's features um, and kind of do crop sensor mode. And that turns some of my lenses into even longer lenses. So I'm saving a lot of space that way, still getting incredible quality results. Um, so those A7R pictures, I especially use that if I'm just doing my own personal photography, away from portraiture, maybe visiting Yosemite, taking some landscape shots. That gives me a lot of room to crop and, and do personal work. So we've got an 85 millimeter portrait lens, my favorite. We've got the kind of a, an odd millimeter, 55 millimeter. I know everyone loves the 50 millimeters what everyone uses for everything. Um, but this is a great fast focusing Sony lens. And that 55 millimeter, it's just super compact and works great. And then a 28 millimeter for our wide angle. Uh, we're using Godox flashes. Um, so amazing that a small flash like this I can maybe just use one or I'll use bungee cords to strap two of them together. And it gives me a high power key light that I can use for fashion shoots, replaces larger lights. Um, and of course, controlling the, that all with the Godox Pro triggers. Use the Pro trigger. Don't use the one that's flat facing. Your forehead will constantly change your settings. This one, at least your forehead doesn't change it when you're, when you're photographing. And of course, uh, you know, just simple, packable, types of light modifiers. Uh, the 43 inch Westcott umbrella is the only one that packs up this small where the stem actually crushes in. So that's really good for you travelers. Uh, I've got these awesome Viola Luxly, um, completely mobile controllable, light uh, color changing LED, very powerful, long lasting with Sony batteries. Um, so got that for any video we need to do, whether that's behind the scenes or for a client and just some, some great fun stuff. I mean, you'll see here as you look down, we've got our community photographer's journal. That's key for me. I'm always writing and, and writing down ideas, taking notes, planning for shoots that way, as well as our Insta360 for behind the scenes and just fun. Uh, it's a great action camera with 360 capability. Starbursts keep us and our clients energized. If you need a little, uh, you're having a sugar low, you gotta keep the energy up during a shoot. Uh, that and just having your clients well served with water available and things that you need on set. So I hope that gives you a little bit of uh, inspiration behind the scenes of uh, how we keep everything small and portable and use it anywhere we go in the world. It was great meeting you. I'm Philip. I hope that Eileen and I will get to connect with you more on the community photographers uh, education page and through the blooms. We'll talk to you then. Bye.